Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today we're going to practice some array iteration. Let's get started, shall we? Let's have a look at our array iteration folder. Here in VS Code, you can see I have a simple HTML file with some basic styling in the CSS folder and a main.js that I'm linking to. All right, so let's start coding in our main.js. Today I'll talk about a few methods that we can use to iterate through different arrays. The first one is the for each method. Now the for each method calls a function for each element in an array. So let's create a simple array and I'll call it list equals a note that I'm using const to define it and that's because I don't plan on updating this array. So I'm just thinking of some summer items that I might need now that it's almost summertime. So we have hat, sunscreen, and towel. Now what I would have to do to use this for each method is I would have to write down list, which is the array itself, and apply the for each method onto it. Now inside of this for each method, I'm going to pass in a function. So I'm just going to call this sum function, let's say. And what happens is this function is called for each element in this given array. So let's define the function next. So I'll say some function. And as it iterates through the list items, I'm going to call each list item list item. Okay, so here's my function, some function. And what I want to do is just output this to the console. So I'll say console.log list item. And upon saving this, we're going to see that each one of these items is displayed in the console. And that's because this sum function is called for each one of these three elements in this array. All right, the next method that I want to talk about is the index of method. Now the index of method searches an array for an element value and then returns its position. Okay, now we have to remember that the first index of any array is the zero position. All right, so let's create some const and we'll call it stationary. And in here, I'm just gonna say pens, pencils, let's say ruler, and I don't know, eraser, let's say. Okay, and now what I wanna do is I want to create another variable. We'll call this index value, oops. And this index value is going to have the result of stationary dot, and now we'll apply the index of method onto it. And what we're gonna look for is we're gonna search for the word ruler. Okay, and then of course we wanna output this to the console so we can see what's going on. And upon saving, you can see the value two. And that's because ruler is in the third position, which has an index value of two. Since pens is zero, pencil is one, and ruler is two. Now the next method I wanna talk about is the find method. Now the find method returns the value of the first array element that passes a test function. Hmm, so what does that mean? Well, let's start by creating an array. So I'll say const ages equals, and I'll just put some number types in here. Let's say you know, 37, 15, 26, 12, 27. Okay, and what I'll do next is I'll create another variable called adults. And here I'm going to store the result of ages dot, and we'll apply the find method onto it. Now in this find method, I'm gonna pass in a function. So I'm gonna create a new function called, oops, check age. Okay, so let's create that function. Function check age. And what this function is going to do is it's going to receive each one of these array elements. So we'll call each one age as it iterates over the array. And I want this to return the age when it's greater than 18. So basically any adult, okay? And of course we don't see anything yet because we need to output this result to the console. So let's do a console.log adults. And when I save it, you see only the value 37. 
So what's happening is this ages.find is running this check age function and it iterates over the array so it goes over each one of these array items starting with 9 then 37 then 15 and so on until it meets its first test criteria and the test is that the age must be greater than 18. So the first time it iterates through the array 9 is not greater than 18 and the second time it iterates through the array it gets to 37 and it checks if 37 is greater than 18 which it is and it returns this value and it stops at that point so it passes the value of 37 back to adults and you can see that over here in the console okay the last method i want to talk about is the filter method now there are other methods but i just want to focus on a few for now the filter method creates a new array with array elements that pass the test so it's very similar to the find method. However, this time we're creating a brand new array and we're storing all the elements that pass the test, not just the first one. So let's create a const of grades. And here I'll say 89, let's say 56, 79, 96, 83, and let's stop at that. And now I'm going to create a new variable called A. And in A, I just want to pass in the value of grades with the dot filter method applied to it. And in here, I'm going to create a new function that will be passed in here called high grade. And what this function is going to do is this function high grade is going to receive this entire array of grades and it's going to iterate through each one, one by one. So it'll go by item by item as it goes through the array. So let's say it's gonna call each item grade. And then it's going to return any students who have a grade of greater than 79. So let's say an A. So grade greater than 79, I think that's about an A. So what we're saying is filter out the students or filter out the numbers that are greater than 79. And of course, we need to do a console.log of A, otherwise we won't see the resulting array. And when I save it, you can see here, we actually have an array formed. So we've created a new array. It has three items in it. The first one is 89, which is the first time it iterates through the array. It skips over 56. Then 79 is also skipped over. 96 passes the test where it's greater than 79 and so does 83 and those are the three items we see here on the right awesome that's basically it for today's video on array iteration methods i hope you've enjoyed this lesson please don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated with new videos as they come out every week until next week keep on coding